Welcome to the demo session on quality assurance and business analysis from YesM Systems. Now the BA part. So let's see BA concepts. Even BA concepts, I will uh, tell you that I can just uh, copy it and paste it here. Many IT concepts are as many IT testing here. Many IT BA concepts are as old as time, and such concepts are inter integrated into business, business analysis. Okay. So when they say that tester will do testing based on requirement standards, so these requirement standards etc. are written by a BA. So BA writes the specifications or requirements and QA will test based on that. So BA QA job is directly connected, you know, so they are closely connected, somewhat closely connected. Okay, so let's look at a BA concept. Okay, once again, you know, so you have to look at it just from a common sense perspective. So in order to run this, uh, uh, in order to do this, I need to give slightly a bigger picture. Okay, I need to show you the concept of uh, waterfall SDLC. In fact, next week when you hopefully, God willing, you join, so we'll be starting, you know, seeing these concepts in uh, detail. So one such thing is waterfall SDLC. So once again, what is waterfall SDLC? If you don't have IT, you'll be scared. So in fact, waterfall SDLC, SDLC method, I tell my students that is as old as time. Okay. So I will explain this also why. So let's uh, we are going. Let's look at that concept quickly. Okay, you are thinking about building your home and in that process, step one is research stuff. Okay, step one is research. Ah, okay, step one is research. Okay, so during the research stuff, my question to you is what, what is the single most important thing to you? What is the single most thing uh, that is, you know, so everybody will get to talk now. So uh, I want to make sure you can mute and unmute and also make sure that only you talk about one thing. Number one, what is important to you? Then you should stop right there. You know, you cannot add A, B, C, D, and that, okay? So let me start with Srima. Yeah, go ahead, Srima. Um, so what is the single most important thing to you when you are thinking about building a home and you are researching, planning, and all that? So what is important? A nice and safe neighborhood. Location is, but thank you. You can go back on mute. So because security, schools, Okay, access to places, etc. All right, uh, Shanti. Besides location, what else is important? The workers. Labor, right? Yeah. Labor. You are talking talk, talk, thinking about okay, who should I hire? You know, so you are also thinking about a good builder. Some labor. Yes. Yeah. Labor yeah. force. Okay, very good point. Uh, my friend uh, Purushot. So, what is the next one? Earthquake, earthquake. Earthquake? All right. Uh, so let's say, you know, you want to build a home in uh, in your home country, uh, Nepal. And um, so you have to select a good location. You have to find good people to build. So mm -hmm. you are also thinking about earthquake comes later. It is important. More than that, first you need to think about a home. What kind of home you want? No, your audio is gone. So, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I have to move on. So, uh, you know, what uh, I will take Purushottam's uh, um, thoughts and expand on it. So, you want the earthquake uh, free home, uh, not only, okay, earthquake uh, free home, you know. So, first of all, we need to worry about what kind of home you want and that is where basic features of the home. Like, you know, you need to decide on how much area you need, 2300 square feet, how many bedrooms you need, you, how many bathrooms you need, kitchen, yard, basement, then you worry about the earthquake free home, flood free home and all that. So, at least the basic things you should be ready with. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next person. Oil. Can you think of uh, anything? Quality of materials which will uh, be materials. used. Okay. And Lavanya. Yeah. yeah. 
Timing. Time frame. How soon you want this home? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. So why you know I forgot to give you a brief overview. So in order to explain waterfall SDLC, what we are going to do is we order to we are going to look at how you know the concept of process of building your home. Okay. And use it as an analogy. And they explain waterfall is there. That's what that's uh, you know that's why we are looking at this. So that's why we are looking at the concept of building a home. Then we'll use it as an analogy to explain waterfall is there. Okay. So, so let's see this research step is over. There can be more uh, things that is added here, but I'm going to only add etc. Okay. So now let's say step two. You decide to move forward. You meet with an architect. So architect, what is going to happen if you if you come to Nandu? Let's say Nandu is an architect, and uh, you know I don't know you. So if uh, Lavanya comes to me, hey, Nandu, I need a home. Then first question I'm going to ask you ask her is, what kind of home you want? Okay, where is the location? The other thing that is important thing is budget. So many accountants here, right? So you will agree with me. Budget cost is very important. What kind of budget do you have in mind? How soon you want? These are all the questions I'm going to ask you. But spend a lot of time in discussing about the feature features of the home. So, if you tell me these are the features that you need, this is not too much details for me. You are not giving me enough details. So, for example, okay, before we need to talk about each and everything in very you know in detail, very detail. You know, maybe hours and days together we are going to discuss. But for example, you know, if you want to talk about kitchen. Then I need to know the uh, you know type of kitchen, type and style, area of the kitchen, flooring, paint color, what kind of uh, cabinets you want, etc. So what I'm going uh, doing here, so all I'm doing here is so to just to make it uh, cut it short. To cut it short, you know what I am doing as an architect. Nandu is an architect. Architect is gathering information from you. You are my customer, so I am ga gathering information from you. Okay, very simple concept, right? So then, once architect gathers information, the product, uh, the home is designed, constructed, it's thoroughly tested. Okay. And then you close the loan and move into your home, and product launch happens. Okay, house. So you have a house warming party, and then house is maintained on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, kind of this is the process we go through. What the, I'm here to prove is that, okay, so I, you know, so we looked at the process of building a home. Now we are going to use it as an analogy to explain waterfall as real. Okay, so let's take a quick assumption. So here is the assumption. So just to read it. Okay. So your role changes now by being a homeowner. Now you become a okay business owner. You have a retail business. Okay, you are a retail business, and you want to you know you want to have someone develop. You are not going to do it. Someone else is going to develop a website for you. Then look at what happens. Normally I do this exercise interactively, but I will just skip and go through. Okay, so what is important? Budget and cost. How much it is going to cost me to develop a website? How soon I want this website? In the research step, you need to think about your budget, your time. Okay, 
So if you look at it, everything applies, you know, the, the earlier whatever you, you said in step one is almost everything is applicable in the case of a home two. Okay. So you need to have a good saw in a good builder, you need to have a label to build the software too. That is good software company. So you need to have okay. You need to think about budget cost, time frame. Okay. So here you know future features of the home here you are talking about features of the software okay what kind of software i want meaning you know what are all the things that should be there in the software okay if you are going to have a retail website selling items you know you should have ability to collect payments ship the items display the products on the website how soon you want it budget and cost Material here means, you know, the things that make up the website, you know, you use silver light, you know, it is just a rich software, they say it is a rich software. You don't want to, uh, you know, uh, get something from an unknown company, you know, it might run into problems. So good material, you know, so means, you know, here good software that can uh, uh, really help you develop the website. You want to also want to hire a good company that can develop the software for you. So what I want to see is that there is a great one-to-one -one analogy once again between in the research term. Not only the research term, earlier we looked at it in step two, the architect was gathering information, right, here, here also gathering information will have to happen. For example, let's take, you know, these are all the things that are needed on the website. If you come to Nandu, Nandu will, have, will not have any choice but to talk to you about each and everything that I uh, that you want on the website. Right? Suppose you want an about us page. Let's say you know Lavanya comes to me and say Nandu, here here it is. You know, so you develop this website for me, and I want an about us page. So I need to sit with her and talk about about us page in detail. But we don't, you know, so just to quickly summarizing it, I'm going to ask her, Lavani, I don't know anything about your business. What are the products and services are you selling? When did you start the company? Who started it? Where did you start it? Okay. Chronological history. Your growth history. That's what, you know, that will be part of chronological history. The accomplishment. Your management team. So once she answers these questions, then the about us content can be finalized. So earlier architect was gathering information, lesson learned, architect was gathering information. The same job is now being done in IT by a person called business analyst. BA is gathering information. Okay, so then product gets designed, software gets designed, software engineers develop the product. This is where QA testing happens. Many of you want to do QA testing. This is where QA testing is happening. So in bold I have put it step 5, around step 5 is where QA testing is happening. So it's a very natural process, right? You know when, when a product is developed, it is a very natural process. You know, this software, that's why I'm saying software guys didn't invent this process. You know, when uh, thousands of years ago, our forefathers, so let, let's, you know, so then now uh, let's finish this and I will tell you. Close the loan and move into your home. Then, uh, you know, earlier housewarming party was happening. Here, software is launched for customer use. This is where iPad get also get launched. Google, Microsoft, all their products get launched. Okay. So thousands of years ago when uh, uh, homes were uh, built, right? So uh, even our forefathers went through the same process. 